Hello friends, how are you? Welcome in the world of Maths by MEA. This is not a concept video, but a solution video. There is a question in front of you. Please pause the video and read the question. I hope you have read the question. Now I start solving a question. Say this is our path in which Aisa and Bhumika is running. Take from this end Aisa starts, from this end Bhumika starts. They start at 5 and 6 o'clock respectively. They meet point P, say point P at 7 o'clock. Now we need to find the speed of Aisa is to speed of Bhumika. So take the speed ratio is 1 is to x. We can also take speed ratio is m is to n but better is always the speed ratio is 1 is to x. Whenever we have to find the ratio, the best one is to take 1 is to x. Because we have only one variable in the equation, we can solve equation and get the ratio. If we have two variable, we can again solve the equation but that would be a tedious process. So I say the speed of ISI is 1, the speed of Bhumika is x. So take the speed is 1 km per hour and this is x km per hour. ISI from point A to point P that is 5 to 7 2 hour journey. If the speed is 1 km per hour then the distance between A to P is nothing but 2 km. For the Bhumika the speed is x km. From the 6 to 7 only 1 hours in the x km in 1 hours the distance is nothing but x km. Now at P at 7 o'clock they meet and after meeting say this is the path of Bhumika when to A come back to P means he traces P a distance 2 times P to A then A to P. The distance between A to P is 2 km we have found the distance so this is 2 to f that is nothing but 4 km by Bhumika. Now from P to B and B to P this is the distance traveled by Asa for the second meeting that is distance is x km so x is 2 times so at this distance is nothing but 2x. The distance traveled by Bhumika is 4 km distance traveled by Asa is 2x km the speed of Asa is 1 km the speed of Bhumika is x km so this is our time distance upon a speed distance upon a speed is time for the meeting the time should be same because they started from point p and the same time though they have started in a different time earlier but from p they have started the same time so distance upon a speed distance upon a speed if we solve this one our x becomes root 2 so our required ratio is 1 is to root 2 or root 2 is to 1 and this is our answer generally we solve this type of question in which we have time we have first meeting point and second meeting point so the best way of solving this assume the speed ratio is 1 is to x find the distance double the distance get the ratio and solve the question i hope it is clear for the better understanding let's solve another question let's solve second question i would again suggest please pause the video read the question and solve the question i hope you have solved the question we have again the same question but data is different we have a road in which Amit and Beneath travels from opposite ends and we need to find what is the speed ratio of Amit and Beneath. Now start from this end Amit start from this end Beneath start Amit starts at 6 Beneath start at 8 the meeting point is nothing but P and they meet at 9. Say the speed ratio of Amit to speed ratio of Beneath is nothing but 1 is to x or the 1 km and x km. So in this distance in 3 hours Amit travels 3 km and in 1 hour beneath traverse only x km. So the total distance of beneath after the meeting is nothing but 336 km. Total distance by Amit is nothing but xx 2x km. And the speed of beneath is what? x. The speed of Amit is nothing but 1. And this should be equal because the time of meeting is always the same. That is 6 by x is equal to 2x. So x becomes root 3. Here the ratio is 1 is to root 3 and this is our answer. I hope it is clear. This is as simple as drawing the chart. You just need to understand the first meeting time and second meeting time for the both players are same. And solve the last question of this concept video. Please read the question and solve the question. I hope you have solved the question. Here the only one difference is the next meeting is not at the P but they meet again at midpoint of x and p in the previous two questions they were meeting at p here they are meeting at midpoint of x and p now again make a diagram this is the path say this point is x this point is y 
फ्रॉम यर ऐसा स्टार्ट्स हियर भूमिका स्टार्ट्स द मीट एट पी द स्पीड रेशियो ऑफ ऐसा एंड भूमिका अगेन एज्यूम इज वन एंड एक्स ऐसा स्टार्ट्स एट फाइव भूमिका एट सिक्स द मीट एट सेवन ओ क्लॉक सो द ऐसा ट्रेवल्स फॉर द टू आवर्स विद द स्पीड ऑफ वन द डिस्टेंस इज नथिंग बट टू किलोमीटर एज्यूम भूमिका ट्रेवल्स ऑन दी वन आवर्स विद द स्पीड ऑफ एक्स से द एक्स किलोमीटर आफ्टर फर्स्ट मीटिंग दे आर मीटिंग बिटवीन ए एंड पी मीट पॉइंट सो द पांच ट्रेसेस बाई भूमिका इज लाइक दिस एंड इन दिस पी टू ए इज द टू किलोमीटर बट फ्रॉम ए टू नेक्स्ट मीटिंग पॉइंट से एम इट इज नथिंग बट द ओनली वन किलोमीटर बिकॉज इट इज द मीट पॉइंट सो दिस इज द टू किलोमीटर फ्रॉम द पी टू ए फ्रॉम ए टू एम इज ओनली वन किलोमीटर सो डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल्ड बाई द भूमिका इज थ्री विद द स्पीड ऑफ एक्स सो दिस इज नथिंग बट थ्री बाई एक्स नाउ फॉर द ऐसा P to B is x, then again x, then extra one kilometer. So this is nothing but x kilometer, x kilometer, extra one kilometer. So distance traveled by the ISA is two x plus one with the speed of one. So this is our distance upon a speed, distance upon a speed for the both the two person is nothing but time, and the second meeting time and the first meeting time gap is always same for the both the person. We can say two x plus one upon x is nothing but three by x, and the equation becomes two x square plus x minus three is equal to zero. From here, we can find x is nothing but minus three by two or one. We cannot take negative values, so our x is one, and ratio becomes one is to one. This is only possible when the speed ratio is one is to one. I hope this is clear to you. We are doing nothing but equating the time after the first meeting and second meeting. It, we are making equations, equating the time and getting the answer. I hope it is clear. Even if you have any doubt, feel free to ping me. Thank you and happy learning.